Hey guys, so I am filming today in my daughter's room because it's very overcast here in Florida and it didn't seem to matter what room I was in uh, or how many lights I had on, the lighting was terrible. So hopefully sitting here in her room you're able to see a little bit better. Um, wanted to go ahead and give you a really quick, fun, and cheap rat craft that you can make for your rats, obviously. And it is a swing. So here is the final product. It's kind of like a tire swing for rats. And it's only made using three um, supplies, which is some fabric. It can be any kind of fabric you like. It is an, a 7 inch embroidery hoop. And it is a bag of um, links. And they look like this. You find them over where they keep most, you know, like kids' crafts, like the felt and the the big pony beads, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, the guinea pigs are going nuts. Don't mind them. Dingin. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah. So I I got a yard of the material only because I wasn't sure how much I was gonna need. Um, so I didn't want them to cut too little and I didn't have enough. And then this way, if I, there was any left over, I could make other things. Or maybe make a replacement um, fabric for the swing if I ever took it apart and washed it. So, I put the material in the 7 inch embroidery hoop. Like you would if you were to do embroidery. And it's basically, you take, um, there's two hoops to an embroidery hoop. There's a small hoop and then there's the larger hoop. The smaller hoop goes inside the larger hoop uh, with the material in between. So you would take your material, small hoop, big hoop, your material is going in the center, and you just tighten it to hold it into place so it would look like that. And people who do embroidery, it gives them a taunt um, surface to work on. Then, once I had that laid out, I took a pair of scissors and I just cut the material all the way around the hoop. Um, the strips were about an inch maybe, give or take. I didn't really measure it out. I kind of rushed through it because I was just trying to have some something to show. Even if it wasn't great, I could always make another one. With the strips, you'll then knot them. Just tie them in a knot. Um, and when I say tie a knot, you're taking... Um, the material is going to be two layered. You're going to take each layer and knot it that way. Uh, for the links... I just put them in a pattern of colors that I liked by linking them together. And then where I decided I was going to place them on the swing itself, I just took the loop, or I, I took the fabric strip, you know how it's two layers, put the uh, link in, you know, slid it onto one strip, knotted it so that way it's knotted onto the swing itself. Um, like a tire swing, um, it has three links to hold it into place. Oops, got a little tangled there. Um, yeah. It's got three links to hold it into place. And it's all connected by one central link. And then I just added one more link to give myself something to actually hang it. When I decided on how to hang it, I chose, instead of, you know, figuring out how to get it to go this way, I flipped it around. I'm using the back end, or the back side, whatever you want to call it, of the embroidery hoop. So that way it almost makes like a um, like a cup. So they feel a little bit more secure because they have an edge. So if it does start moving, it's not like they're going to be on this where they're going to slide right off. It kind of holds them into place. You will be seeing this on the rat playground that I'm building. Um, it's still in the thinking process. I've got most of it assembled. You know, the, the the most of it, the larger pieces of it, and now I'm just trying to decide what kind of toys I want to hang on it, um, you know, little activities that I can add to it, paint it, finish it up that way. Um, so this will be on there, and that gives you a sneak peek of the colors that I'm going to be choosing. Very bright, very fun. Um, so I will have that posted up on my blog as soon as it's complete. It will be hanging there and it gives them something to play with. Just like a real playground. So, with that being said, I hope that you'll be able to make one of these for your rats. You can hang it right there in their cage if you'd like. Um, they might get a kick out of it. You may have to coax them onto it a little bit with some treats, but um, 
because it does move, it might make them a little scared, but mine jump right on it and they're swinging all over the place. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but yeah. So, if you do make one, send me pics to my email. Um, you can send to askratwhisper at gmail.com and I'll try to post them up on my blog. Um, in the meantime, just sit back and relax because I'm still working on that playground and as soon as it's done, it also will be posted on my blog. So, that address again, if you haven't already subscribed, what is wrong with you? <laughs> it is um, ratwhisper at blogspot.com. So, I hope to see you over there and yeah, I'm excited to get this rat playground done. Hopefully by Christmas. Okay. Have a good one. Bye.